What up guys, it's OG Chiboy here again. Today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to capture FL Studio audio into OBS using Black Hole on Mac OS. Wow, that was a, that was a lot to say. But um, yeah, uh, without further talking, let's get into it. All right, so first things first, um, you wanna go to the Black Hole website to download it. Um, I'm gonna leave a link to this in the description to make it easier for you guys. But once you click the link, it's gonna bring you to, bring you to this page. All you have to do is just enter your email address, first name, last name, and then hit subscribe for free Mac download. They're gonna send you a link in your email, click the link and download the package. All right, so after you download it, you're gonna run it. It's gonna open this box, this box right here. Hit continue. Uh, your Mac is probably gonna try and block this software from being installed. How you bypass that is you just go to your system preferences. You go to security and privacy. And then over here, there should be an option to allow the software. And that's what you wanna click. So after you allow that, you want to try the installation again and then install it. But I'm not going to do it because I already did it. So I'm going to skip that part. I'm just going to close out of this box. So after you have it installed, you want to now go to your audio MIDI setup and you get there by hitting command and space. Okay, not Siri. Thank you very much. No, thanks. Okay, command space, audio MIDI setup. Double click that. And then I already have one set up, but what, how you, how you want to set this aggregate device up is you're going to click this plus sign, create aggregate device, and in this uh, correct order, you're supposed to select the um, the interface that you, the uh, audio interface that you use in FL Studio to make music. Mine is the Universal Audio Thunderbolt, so I'm going to select that, and um, that's my Apollo Twin X, and then after that, I'm going to select the Black Hole 16 channel. And um, what you want to pay attention to is this little line right here. Pull it down so you can see the output channels. And you want to remember these two numbers that correspond to your black hole outputs. Number 11 and 12. For you, it might be something completely different. For me, it's 11 and 12, which is left and right. And for my Apollo Twin, it's mono left and mono right. And those are my output channels. Okay, so after you've done that, uh, I'm actually I'm gonna leave this at 41 because yeah and um, yeah that's that you can close out of this window and I'm gonna show you guys how to set up OBS alright so here we are in OBS as you can see me looking all handsome but that's not what we came here for so I'm gonna show you what we came here for you're gonna hit settings and you wanna go to your audio and then you're gonna notice uh, desktop audio and desktop audio 2 you want both of this disabled but on mic auxiliary audio, you want to set that to black hole 16 channel. And then the second one, you want that to be your audio interface. Mine is the Universal Audio Thunderbolt, which is my Apollo Twin X. So I'm just going to select that. And then I'm going to hit OK. And um, just a quick tip. If you guys want to have your audio, which is your mic, and then your uh, FL Studio audio on two separate tracks. So when you want to edit them, they'll be on two separate uh, different tracks and you want to edit them independently you can do that by going back to settings and then on output go to the recording tab and then on audio track select only tracks two and three which because you're only working with two tracks and then you're gonna hit OK and then back down here you're gonna come back down to this mic aux and mic aux 2 doesn't matter which one just click the settings uh, icon go to advanced audio properties and then um, for your mic, you want to select the, your mic is gonna be coming out of um, uh, the mic aux too. That's what your um, voice is gonna be re being recorded to. You want to click mono on that so it's mixed down to mono and not coming out of only one side of your ears. And then this is what the actual sound from FL Studio is gonna be is gonna be uh, routed to. So you want to put that on like track two, and then your um, mic aux two, which is gonna be your voice, put that on track three. So that's what your setup should look like. You guys can ignore this cam mic because that's for my own purposes because I'm using a different mic. I'm not using the mic connected to my uh, audio interface. And that's how you do that. So now I'm going to show you guys how to uh, set up FL Studio. All right, so here we are in FL Studio. The first thing you want to do is you want to go to Options, go to your audio settings, and then select the aggregate device that you just created. Mine's already set up. So I'm just going to click that again and then just close out of this. And just to make sure everything's working, I'm going to load up a sample to make sure that I still hear sound. Okay, so here's my sample loaded up. I'm going to hit play.
Okay, so as you can see, I hear the sound, but OBS does not pick up the sound. So the only sound that you saw there was the one coming out from the microphone that I have set up over here. But there's a way to fix that. So basically, if I open my mixer, what's happening is that all the sounds from FL Studio are going straight to my master track. My uh, master track has its output set to the ones that are corresponding to my interface right now. But if you remember, the black hole outputs were 11 and 12. So if I want to hear it through black hole, I can just click that. But then if I play the sound, I don't hear it. But OBS, as you can see, actually hears it. So that's my mic, and that's the sound being played out of FLC right there. But I can't hear it out of my speakers or my headphones, so that's bad. So to fix that, I'm going to show you guys what you have to do. So I'm going to open my mixer again, change this output back, change my master outputs back to my audio interface. So basically what's happened is all the sound is just going straight from FL Studio straight to my interface. But I want it to go through Black Hole's outputs first and then go into my interface. That way OBS hears it and then I hear, hear it as well. But in order to do this, what we have to do, I'm sure you guys, some people already figured it out after I said what I just said. But to do it, for those of you guys who haven't figured it out yet, what you have to do is you have to um, basically create a track which you're going to uh, set its outputs to black hole and then send it to the master track. And to do that, when I make beats, I don't use more than 30 tracks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select tracks 1 to through 30, right click on the 30th one and then go to track writing. And then I'm going to create a submix and I'm going to call it OBS. And I change color, sure. Boom. But as you can see, every track before it was changed, uh, it was renamed to OBS. And you usually, you probably wouldn't want that. So you want to do this as the first step. If you know you're about to make a beat and record yourself in the process, this is the first step you want to do. Because if you do it after, it's going to rename all your tracks and all the names the re the names that you had set before are going to be gone and you're going to have to do it over again which is going to be frustrating but yeah you can uh, still rename these tracks so i'm going to call this kick or whatever and as you can see no problem at all so i'm going to click the submix that i just created and then i'm going to set its outputs to outputs 11 and 12 and as you can if you notice this track is also being routed if you look at this green arrow it's being routed to the master track so we're good on that so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go here and send this to track one and then i'm gonna play the sound again so as you can see obs is picking it up we can hear it and we still have our mic going so that is exactly what we want so um after you've recorded your video and you you play it back using quicktime or vlc you're probably not going to hear sound come out don't panic just import it into premiere pro or whatever software that you use to edit video and you're going to see that there's actually sound so i just wanted to uh say that because some people might play it back and be like oh my god there's no sound no import it into your video editor and you're going to see that there's actually sound so you should be good on that so yeah guys, that's how you get your sound out of um, FL Studio and get it into OBS. Um, if this video helped you out, please hit the like button and subscribe. I'm going to be doing more content on this channel. So if you guys would like to see that, um, go ahead and just click that su uh, subscribe button. Thanks for watching this video and I'll uh, see you guys in the next video. Peace.